Hey my lovelies and welcome back to episode 5 of the Horse Ranch series and it's been a little while since I sat down to film because in case you haven't been following the last two videos that I did I moved apartments so I moved in with my boyfriend we used to live in the same student housing which is where we met but since it's been a little while that we started our relationship we wanted to have a place of our own and after months of searching we finally got an apartment and moved in last weekend so from the time that you're seeing this episode we are now living in this apartment for a full week and we are so happy with it it's still a lot of cleaning up so i initially wanted to do some face cam videos for you as well but i don't think we're gonna do that just yet but that may be something to look out for in the future but in today's episode, what we're going to do is, it's love day actually, I did spend a little bit of time working on the farm, making sure that everything was ready. They are both working from, oh no, he's actually off, I think. Or I had him off from work and she's working from home. But what we're doing is, Daisy has been in heat a lot and I posted a poll a few weeks back on my Twitter asking what we should do for the next pet in the series and with 37% you guys voted for either a cat or a dog and between those two you guys actually voted for a dog it's ended up being cat at first but later when the poll result poll finished it ended up being a dog so we are here at Cecilia's house and i think this is a cedia gang she is one of the i think she's one of the townies from um hangford on Beckley because that's where we are and i think she is one of the pre-made townies and we are here because i placed down a dog in her home and the story is that she is basically putting up her dog for australian shepherd puppies so she is doing breeding with her dog uh, she has a lot of papers ready for the breeding so that if there are any other Australian Shepherd owners who want puppies and who want to have the same breed puppies she can help them so we are now talking to uh, Cecilia we're actually becoming friends with Cecilia as well so that's really sweet because that means that we will have one more friend to add in the series and to talk to and what we are also going to do is Carson is going to encourage Daisy to mate. So these two they are getting a sentiment. I think they they like talking together. I think they are I think they are suitable with each other to be friends. Let's see they do have amazing compatibility as well. So I think it's it can be a nice friendship and I will give Cecilia a makeover so we can fit her in the style that I typically use. And is there anything we can do here? We can ask about her love life because I'm actually interested as there should be some story that she likes the hermit that we met in the last episode. And are you encouraging Daisy to... To... Breed or to maid? Are you okay? Is it happening? Let's see. I actually want to take a picture of these. Okay, so they're mating. We got the love hearts. And oh, it's so cute. I want to have a cute picture of this with just the two of them because I've never actually seen this before. But these two are mating, so let's hope that we get some puppies from this. And after the wards, we are going into the town. We're going to bring Daisy home and we're going to go into... Why am I film? I need to change my camera remote. Um, but why is this blinking? Apparently, okay, apparently I was filming, um, but we are going to go into the, oh, it's been a while that I sit down. Um, 
in the world that came with the Sims 4 horse ranch, we are going to go into town and we're going to go and uh, have a nice date with all of them. But let's hope that we get some puppies from these two because I really think it would be nice to have some puppy addition. And the encouragement to mate worked. So we'll see. But I'm quickly going to have them talk a little bit more to Zucini. I think he doesn't really know her. So he's going to do a few talks with her as well. And then we're going to head home. So why don't you do a friendly introduction and just thank her for offering her dog up for breeding. And maybe get to know them. And they have a nice... Okay, she he actually thinks she's unreliable. That's not good. But yeah, who knows? Maybe she can attend the wedding if we have it in a few episodes. And we are back home. And I was actually waiting for May to get the Get Married to Carson wand. Because I wanted her to have the wand similar as Carson has had for a few episodes. So they would actually both have that wish. And that would mean for me that they were both ready to get married. So that's it. So I think we're going to have a wedding in the next episode. We also have a little bit of money, so I'm going to purchase some oversized crop seeds and some oversized fertilizers. So let's buy one of each, and I think we're going to plant the pumpkin seeds as we're slowly getting into autumn in real life. But what I also noticed right before we went back home and right before I wanted them to go on their little date is Daisy is pregnant so the mating work she is expecting puppies so let me know in the comments down below right now what you think she is expecting i can show you the notification right here so here it is expecting puppies so we are gonna have some cute little puppies in this little family soon and i know you want to listen to fleet heart but can you Please plant some oversized crops. Can you please plant the pumpkin? And then talk about stock market and fertilize the crop with some. Hmm. Vitality. And we're also going to do the vitality one on this one. And after that, because uh, Carson is now milking Dandelion and Bluebell, after this we are gonna head into town and go on a little date. And Carson actually unlocked the outdoor scene lifestyle. Okay, so I think that really suits them. I think they both are really outdoorsy people, so I think it's good that they have this lifestyle. But we are quickly gonna finish this up and then I'll see you lovelies in town. So I had them quickly get dressed and we are now at the oak barrel and I actually want to check because I downloaded a, a mod that's called the more kisses mod but I'm not seeing it. It should be its own option actually. But, oh there it is. So we have different types of kisses and this is the version 4. And I actually want to see him do the forehead kiss because I think forehead kisses are really cute. And I really want to see this animation because I think this for storytelling purposes is going to be so cute and so adorable for anyone who is a machinima creator. So we are going to see what this type of kiss looks like. I want to try this out all throughout this series, but also throughout my growing that's a berry to get a series. And oh, this is so cute. This is so cute, actually, and so realistic. Oh, okay. I'm so far. I'm really liking this mod <laughs> and it's making them flirty. Unfortunately, it's not counting towards the socialization. With a date, which is set an is it ghost night out on the town? Because I have two ghosts here. Who knows? But he's going to do a little bit of flirtation with her. They are going to sit and talk. She wants to order a drink. He actually wants to dance. So why don't we do a little bit more flirtation? He's going to compliment 
her appearance and then she is gonna head over and order something at the bar for the both of them while he's gonna start doing the dancing that he wants to do so why don't you order some drinks and i also do have some mods in there that can that i think can help me order some nectar as well as some different types of cocktails so i think we're gonna do one of those cocktails Ooh, which one sounds amazing this one actually sounds really nice the blue lagoon also sounds very nice but i think we're gonna do gentle romance since it is love day or strawberry margarita no we're gonna do gentle romance uh, for the both of them because maybe it would put him into uh, a flirty mood who knows and okay uh, there are a lot of sims that are not alive here, so I don't know what's up with that. But we may need to keep it in mind because this may be a deadly night that I don't want to affect my sims. But is there anywhere that we can dance? Is there any music around here? Hmm. Oh, there, there it is. So, why don't you slow dance with Maiden? And these two lovebirds are over here doing a little slow dance together to the music that's not inside. Or that's not outside, but they're just in this cutesy little area, just enjoying some alone time with the two of them. I think, like, ever since they moved to. To the town, and I'm really, for I'm really forgetting the name. Um, but ever since they moved here, ever since they moved to this region, that okay, give me a second. I need to look it up. But Chestnut Ridge. I have no idea why my brain just could not get Chestnut Ridge as the name. But ever since they moved to Chestnut Ridge, ever since they have been here. They have been busy with the ranch. They have been busy with... Oh, he's doing a little twirl. <laughs> Ever since they've been busy with building up their lives. And I need to take a picture of this. Because this looks so cute. Oh, These two. I think these two are so wholesome together. But they... They have been so busy not being able to focus on their romance and not being able to focus on their lives together that I think they they needed this time to go away and they needed this little moment for just the two of them away from the ranch, away from the animals with just, just the two of them having some nice time out on the town so i'm quickly gonna have them go to the toilet and take care of their needs but it's nice to see that they're finally spending some time together i think they are both finally coming to terms with what happened with their unborn son with losing him and I think they're now finally ready to move forward in their relationship. And is there any toilet here? Is there any... There is, but where? I have no idea what, um, where the toilet is. But it's good to see that, that they're now finally working on the relationship again and that they're finally why is it an unpleasant conversation by the way but that they're finally in a better place so it's good that we're gonna have the wedding next and i think they may also be ready to start a family potentially but i also think that we may need to wait until we have a bit more money and maybe live on a bigger ranch before we start building up their family again so i'm gonna wait and see if once they're married they get the want to have a child and i think we're gonna wait until they both have the want to have a child unless i think story-wise it makes sense 
to for them to have a child but for now i think we're just going to focus on building up the friendship a bit more and building up their relationship a bit more before we think about babies so we are back home and these two are feeling very flirty they had a nice day they had a amazing um love day so they decide to do a lot of woohoo no trying for pregnancy she is in birth control and he does have some some protection as well so these two are just gonna do a little woohoo so nothing happens and we'll if something happens which shouldn't be the case we're gonna let it happen, but I think they deserve a little bit yeah. of <laughs> steam between the two of them. And oh, in the morning, no. I'm gonna have these two clean up this ranch because it's a mess. And we are gonna take care of all the animals who are interacting more and more together. Because I see that Fleetheart is now also more interacting with the chickens. Not too great at socializing, but it's nice to see that these... These animals are also interacting with each other. So I will let these lovelies be and see you in the morning. And it's the next morning. Everyone is still asleep. But Daisy has gone into labor. So we will find out what puppies we will get soon. So I'm going to wait until we actually know until, the puppies, until she's getting in labor. And we actually have the puppies. But... We're gonna get some puppies. That's happening so fast. And I think we're getting the puppies now already. Listening to the sound, so <laughs> Dandelion is also keeping her some company so she doesn't have to go through it alone, which is really cute to see. Tell me. How many puppies? So she gave uh, birth to a puppy. What would you like to call her? So of course this is going to be... Um, Sawyer Logan as the NAS name for sure. And for now I'm going to randomize the names. But if you have any name suggestions let me know in the comments down below. So... Uh, let's see... Asparagus is actually a fun name, so we're gonna do Asparagus for now, but if there are any suggestions, let me know and I will change it to that. We have another puppy, so this is also going to be Sawyer Logan, and it's another girl. Sawyer Logan, and this one is, ooh, pumpkin, so we're just gonna stay with the name, food or vegetables team. And another one. It's a boy. Are we going to get three or four puppies? Because we, we can get four puppies. Hunter, Chubbs, Buddy, Cooper, Nixon, Waffle. Okay, I'm going to stay with the... Let's see. Is there any peanuts? Pickles is also fun. I'm going to... See, I want to have something that's fitting a little bit more. Chestnut. Chestnut for Chestnut Rich. But again, if you have any name suggestions, let me know. And where are these? We got triplets. We got... <laughs> we got three little puppies. And they are looking so cute mm, they have a lot of Jerome's colors but we also have one that has Daisy's coloring and I think it's nice to see that they're all looking a bit different differently with different eye colors but we have little puppies mm -hmm. this is amazing and she is straight to bed she's like yeah this was Tiring, I'm gone, I'm done. Good night. It's the next morning and everybody is doing their work. Our chickens are so dirty, they're starving. 
they are not doing well, so I cleaned the coop, because the coop gets very dirty now that we have so many chickens, and this should fix itself soon. So we are also going to have to scatter a bit more feed. I'm also now trying to fertilize all the plants, so we have them all nice and happy with some horse manure. See, did you fertilize this one? No. And having so many animals, it's a lot to take care of, to be honest. So we have our little doggies, which are actual maniacs. They are eating the chicken food. They are playing in all the puddles. So they have to keep telling off the, pu uh, the puppies not to eat trash, not to... Um, play in puddles, not to drink from puddles, not to play in trash. So there's a lot of things that they need to keep doing to keep these puppies in line and to also to keep these puppies happy. I think we need to buy another football because it also fills up or it gets empty so quickly. So there's a lot of things um, we need to do. On the farm, we harvested actually our watermelon. It's a perfect watermelon, I checked. So we have a perfect watermelon, which is 46.11 kilograms. And then we have two perfect lettuces that are medium-sized. And our watermelon is oversized. So what I think we're going to do is we are going to see if we actually have the Finchwick Fair tomorrow. So it's the Fintrick cow farm and we don't have cows, unfortunately. So I was hoping that we could go to the oversized crop fair. But if I put it in the fridge, it should stay fine, right? And then we have the new skill day on Sunday. We still have a lot of work to do. So she is actually going to do all of her work. And can we put this in the fridge? Okay, good. So we can keep it fresh for a bit longer for all the crops. And we do need to go back into Hanford on Bagley because the final step of this part of the country caretaker aspiration is to place one wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on your home lot. And we haven't had it unlocked yet because we have had no interaction with birds or bunnies. And I think the bunnies would be the most fun. So... We would have to go into Finchwick and see if we can find an, in Hanford on Bagley and see if we can find anybody to start uh, talking to and actually befriend. And I'm just going to have her do her entire job. So she is done. I do think that it may be better since they need to keep working on our jobs that one of them is going to quit their job. And I spoke about this before that it might be. Oh no, that's not the way. That it might be the best for Carson, actually, because he is more of a rancher. For him to quit his job, because he needs to go a lot more into uh, Foxbury Institute to crash course in engineering, a uh, crash and engineering course. And I just think that with his robotic skills that we cannot really work on, it's easier to level up in uh, May's career than to level up in Carson's career. So in that case, I may have him work today as the final day so we can get a little bit more money from it. But then I think I'm going to have him quit his job and become a, a full-time rancher and take care of all the animals. So he's also going to... Go on a walk with our little doggy, and he's just gonna be like the full time rancher while May is still gonna go work on her job from home. And what we're also gonna do in the next episode, because I think I'm going to end this episode soon, is we are gonna go with a fleet heart. I'm gonna have her. Mount Fleetheart now as well, but we are going to practice a little bit more our skills. We can breed. Ooh, we can also breed. But if Spirit is here, it means that 
Autumn is here, who we still need to invite over to the ranch sometimes. But I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna practice some more horse riding. Oh yeah, there she is, Autumn with Spirit. Well, we have this whole area here. We're gonna practice a little bit more of the, I think, jumping, because we don't really have any jumping. So we are gonna practice some basic jumps together. And with that, I think in the next episode, we are gonna attend our first championship because she hasn't competed in any championships. She is horse level or horse riding level six. So it should be fine with to have her attempt some competitions for the first time. And once we have a bigger lot, because I don't think we have any space left right now, we are gonna get a cow and a llama and we are gonna hire I think a ranch hand as well, so we can get some more of the mini goats and the mini um, sheep and just have like a lot more help on the farm because it's it's a lot. It's tough, there is a lot to do, um, but I think we are going to need that help that we now haven't had before because it's I think it's getting too much for them a little bit. They like they understand um they understand like what they need to do and they understand like how it works. But I think they overestimated the amount of work and they actually I think they're actually gonna decide that they need a little bit more help so they can also focus on nectar making, which they haven't had the opportunity to more of the competitions so for them it's a way of doing a lot more than they have been able to right now and money wise it's a little bit better but i do think i need to build a little place for the ranch hands actually so i need to check like if they can hire a ranch hand we may need to expand the basement so the ranch hand can stay there and otherwise we will have to wait for uh, hiring a ranch hand when we have our own place. And I'm just gonna sell some things from her inventory because we have a lot of duplicate things as well. And I did have Carson create some planters as well so she can plant some strawberry her strawberries and her grapes. Because she does have her crepes here as well. But she can then plant them inside in this little area. So I think I'm going to spend on this area too just a bit. So she can plant some here. And start working a little bit more on the nectar too. Because it needs to happen. Like We don't have any opportunity right now to do much with nectar building. She doesn't have any, any items for it. So I think it's good to... To work a little bit on it. And do we need to scold these puppies again? Because I I think they're really cute. Like they... They really are like adorable. Cute little beings. But if you check their, their traits. So Chestnut is vocal. He's a couch potato and he's a glutton. We have Asperger's who is loyal. And where is Pumpkin? Pumpkin is hairy, friendly and loyal. So they're all most of, mostly good puppies, but they are they are a lot, especially with all of the the other do uh, animals. It's a lot to take care of. So yeah, it's gonna be something that we need to keep working on. Um, I think she's gonna talk about riding so that. Fleetheart knows that she's gonna be mounted and they're gonna be going for a ride to practice a little bit more But yeah, we are We have some puppies. So that was a new addition in family. We are working a lot more on our ranch It's looking very cute, but there is a lot of like puddles every single time because all of the puppies and Daisy have to go um, Do their business outside. We have a lot of chickens that we need to keep care of because we right now have six and there are still two eggs in here that we can hatch or that are ready to be getting hatched 
So there's so much to do on the farm every single day. And storytelling wise, I don't always get the time to focus on the stories that I want to do, but I am going to try to do it a bit more in the next one or two episodes with a wedding coming up. So I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you guys liked that it was a little bit eventful and to see where the story is going more and more. I'm going to also have her work on her writing skills so she can get a promotion to level 5. And for him, I am going to see if he can try to get to robotic skill level 5 over the weekend. So he can get one more bonus and then quit his job and become a full-time rancher. So let me know what you think of everything. Let me know what you thought of this episode and what you want me to do next. Also, let me know what you think of the dog na- names and if you want me to do to choose any different names or if you have any different suggestions. And if you like, so if you like this episode, click the little like button down below as well. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you are so you don't miss out on either a chaotic episode or a wholesome episode. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. Thin ice, walking on my own. Praying night.